morning. My name is Lakisa Jackson. I'm so glad we we're able to connect. Thank you for joining in tonight as we discuss what it means to develop intellectual healthy practices and how to engage in deliberate, selective, and protective learning. We have been having an amazing time with our daily devotionals, evening reflections, and we've been challenged by the calls to action as we reflected on God's word. I want to encourage you to like and then share this on your social media pages. Take some time and let God bless you to bless someone else as we dive into this wonderful information tonight. The devotional scripture from yesterday was found in Philippians chapter four and verse eight, which states, finally, Brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. The book of Philippians, it was written to the church of Philippi by the Apostle Paul to help them embrace the Christian experience. Schofield defines it as right Christian experience then is the outworking, regardless of circumstances, of the life, nature, and mind of Christ living in us. The fourth chapter in Philippians falls in the division of this book, which talks about Christ, the believer's strength, rejoicing, over anxiety. Commentary suggests that the Apostle Paul was very deliberate and intentional with his selection of words. He urges them to fill their thoughts with things that are good and holy. Christ is the truth. All that is true comes from him. The word honest occurs here and four other times in the pastoral epistles. It's a word that is difficult to translate. Honorable or reverend are better equivalents for this word. It points out Christian etiquette, a Christian self-respect, which is consistent with true humility. It is a reverence for God, commanding worship. Just is righteous in action and word, as tested by the declared will of man or God. Pure is righteous in essence in the thought which cannot be tested. Lovely of good report. Both words are peculiar to this passage. In both we pass from truth and righteousness to love. Lovely is which deserves love. The phrase of good report represents a Greek word which is commonly used for acceptable. It is the outward expression of what is lovely, winning the acceptance which loveliness deserves. That's a lot to think on these things. As we're going throughout our day, day to day, after you come in from work, after you've uh, dealt with family, after you've handled responsibilities, after you've juggled everything, do you find it challenging to think on things that are lovely and are good report throughout the day? I know I do sometimes. What are some things that you like to think about that are lovely? Some things that bring you uh, joy or, or make you in that better place mentally, intellectually, that are of a good report. Take this time and type it in the comments. I, I like flowers. So sometimes I close my eyes and think about roses, think about flowers. Uh, it's good to know what things that we can think about that are good report, that are lovely, that are pure, that are created by God. The human mind is a powerful tool that we barely even scratch the surface of reaching its full potential. Our thoughts, they control our actions and our beliefs. The scripture for today, Proverbs chapter four and verse 23 in the Good News translation states, be careful how you think. Your life is shaped by your thoughts. I took some time to really think about this. If my life is shaped by my thoughts 
and I'm not living the life that I want to live, then I need to spend some more time working on my thoughts. That's if I want a better life. Miles Monroe is the author of Releasing Your Potential. In this book, he states, the concept of becoming is further clarified in another Greek word for work, energia, which means to become. No matter what God requires of you, if you don't do it, you can't become what he sees in you. Potential is the existence of possibilities. Work is the activation of possibilities. Potential is what you have, work is what you do. We have received the knowledge of how to be intellectually healthy by controlling our thoughts and by what we allow our minds to have access to. We must make the decision that we will do what we know to do. And it starts with our thinking. Will it be challenging? Absolutely. Can it be done? Most definitely. It will take time, faith, and consistency to change and get rid of that garbage thinking that has collected over the years. We can replace the negative thoughts that we think about ourselves and how we view others with how God sees us through his word. If you have ever participated in a sport, you enjoy being on a winning team. Now, the team does, doesn't automatically win because it's a group of people with the potential to win. Collectively and individually, they must first go through conditioning, which is training using discipline to become fit by repetition of exercise regimen. They must change their eating habits to make sure that they're getting the proper nutrition for their bodies. They must practice until their defensive or offensive plays become like second nature to them, so much so that they're able to perform them under tremendous amounts of pressure. Athletes, they surround themselves with other people that understand their discipline and their hard work obligations. Maybe you're not an athlete, but you work out. Maybe you have a playlist that you listen to to get you pumped or help you finish your workout routine. As believers, we are running a spiritual marathon. We must discipline and condition our minds and bodies for the journey ahead. The main thing is to be aware of and to take inventory periodically of our thoughts throughout the day. Ask yourself, what am I thinking about? Does it match up with how I want my life shaped? And then think about those things that will shape your life the way God intended. It will get better with time, faith, and consistency. Don't wait until tomorrow. Get started. Do it now. Feed your mind with things that will educate, uplift, and inspire you to do better and to be who God called you to be. Maybe you're thinking about going back to school, starting a business, being a better parent, changing careers, or pursuing your dream job. Don't rob yourself of these opportunities by thinking negatively. Philippians chapter four and verse 13 states, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I remember when I was going to nurse, when I wanted to go to nursing school, the odds were stacked against me. I was divorced, a single parent, and a non-traditional student. I wasn't able to afford it, but I believe God would provide the resources. And God did just that. I had to have the discipline to study and apply time management skills to be able to fulfill my duties as a mother, a minister, and a college student. Philippians chapter four and verse 13, along with Romans chapter eight and verse 38, which states, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loves us. Those two, they were my battle scriptures. When assignments or clinical seemed to be too overwhelming and I began to think this was too much and I just couldn't do it, I would open my mouth 
and start speaking those scriptures into the atmosphere and it would stop the negative thoughts. Then I would meditate on those scriptures. God brought me through nursing school, passing my state exams, and now I supervise nurses. I encourage you to take the time to write down what you would like your life to look like and then find scriptures, books, and songs that will foster and reinforce it in your thinking. Meditate with those things in mind and watch God increase your intellectual health. Thank you so much for joining in tonight. Remember to connect with your congregational or Sea Life group on next week. Continue to follow along with the daily devotions, the prayers at noon, the Tuesday and Thursday teaching, and the weekly Zoom calls with Bishop Smith. It has been a pleasure talking with you tonight. God bless and see you soon.